been a few days since I greased the pistol, so I thought I would take the time to do that. And yeah, it's loaded. They say don't clean a loaded gun. Well, I guess it depends on what you're doing and how you're doing it. But it is a loaded gun. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to run a patch, a greasy patch, down the barrel into uh, the empty chamber. So, yeah, I'm cleaning the loaded gun. But the hammer is on an empty nipple. This is actually the push top, the push handle for a French press. And it fits the Petter Soli cleaning rod attachments. So it is perfect for the pistol. So it worked out well. Uh, just an experiment, looking at it, looking at the threads, I thought to myself, hmm, and it worked. But anyway, this is old patch, some bore butter, and this is bore butter mixed with some snow seal and a little bit of mink oil and a little bit of gun oil left to solidify so it's not as thick as regular bore butter. But keep the bore clean. I don't have to worry, I'm sitting on an empty nipple, my other caps are to the side, and I just make certain that the barrel is clean because I walk around, the end of the pistol sticks out from the holster. So my barrel is greased, a small Altoids tin keeps these greasy and semi-greasy cleaning rods and patches, patches not rods, but here we go. Now, I will take the cleaner of the ones that I have in here with a little bit of grease on it. and rub the outside. And I'm wanting to keep the elements away. Now, that is also why I keep it loaded with only five shots. It is resting, the cylinder is locked on an empty chamber and would have to cock the hammer to change that. And this way you can go through some standard field cleaning, a little bit of greasing, bore check, and you don't have to worry, you don't have to completely disassemble it, remove the chamber. That's quick cleaning. More thorough cleaning on loaded I would remove the chamber. But the problem with removing the cylinder is there's a lot of mechanics involved. And it just seems to me there'd be more of a chance for something to go wrong. But on a quick field cleaning uh, I don't see a problem with doing it this way. You're not really handling it any different than you would at the range. Not pointing it at anything in any body. Now, cock the hammer, make sure the cylinder rotates. Check all the caps look good and waxed on. No rust down in there. Return it to an empty nipple. And the pistol has been field cleaned. Now, why would I want a black powder pistol? Well, it's Pyrodex. Pyrodex P. Pyrodex pistol. 
So, why would I want that? Well, I can load this in various strengths. I can load it from the standard 30 grains that I carry, a little more or less. And I can make my own balls. Also, I can get the powder, which goes a long ways. If I reclaim lead, not shooting much, it lasts quite a while. The powder has versatility if I need it more than just the shell. And uh, I can load some rat shot in there. A little bit of shot if I'm in an area where I think it's rather snaky. I can put one, two, or three and load it with some shot. And it's close range, but it works well. So that is why I carry a black powder pistol. Although it's Pirate XP, not black powder. But it works well. And it's fairly accurate. And it's a revolver. If the first shot doesn't fire, then you just click it on around again. So these served man well for a long time. And out here, it's a tool. It's not a weapon. And it works very well. So I enjoy this pistol. It's not only is a pleasure to shoot, but it's very serviceable. And in reality, uh, well, I got five shots. That's the reality of it. But it does well. And two weeks, and I haven't had to fire. So that is filled greasing and bore check on a loaded black powder pistol.